Hi everyone, it is Saturday. It's a pretty nice day. I just came back from the community garden. There were some um, people there, so we worked on a couple of beds. I would have filmed it, but I don't feel real comfortable yet filming in front of people. So sorry about that. I'll have to uh, go back there and update everyone. So I'm pretty tired right now, but I still want to do one more project for today in the garden. And that pretty much is just to sort my um, my seeds. As you guys might know, I share seeds with Caroline. And Caroline's garden is in Portland, Maine, and mine is in Portland, Oregon. So hopefully this shows up. I'm going to go through what seeds I have so we can decide what seeds we're going to share this year. Yeah, you can get a better view. Okay, some of the seeds I saved um, from my garden last year. So let's go through this. Some of this I planted already. Okay, so let's, see, let's see what we have. We have this herb mix. Hopefully you can see that. And that is for my rabbit. So I'm going to put that over there more food for my rabbit. This is a basil. And this is chard for my rabbit. Um, I have some colubine. I'm not sure how you say that. It's a perennial. I'm familiar with it, but I've never grown it before, so I'm going to put that over there. Some more basil that I had from last year, I'm going to put that with the basil. Then I have this, which is um, some kind of plant for rabbits. I, I'm not really sure what it is, but I've had it quite a while. I haven't grown it, so I am going to put it over with the rabbit pot. And I just have some leftover lettuce seeds. I guess that'll go with the rabbit. I have some um, cucumbers. This is a, actually a container. Let's see if we can get a better picture of this. It says container cucumber. And it's by Renee Gardens. I've never tried this vendor before. So I bought a few seed packets from them. I'm not sure where they're out of. Yeah. Have you guys tried this company before, Renee's Garden? I think I've heard of it. I think it's a pretty big company. Okay, so this bag is actually stuff I've planted already. Well, maybe not all of it. I think I haven't planted this yet. This is an annual called Bridal Veil. I've never grown that before. I'll put that with the flowers. Carrots for me and Cha Cha, my rabbit. I will put that in the rabbit pile. Arugula. I've got a lot, a lot of things that my rabbit can Maybe too much. So these are all the things that I've planted already, so I'm going to separate these and put this in a separate pile. These are beets. They're, they're grown in cool weather, so it is still cool here. It's about, on the average, like 50 or 60. But it's not consistently 60 and we haven't had a last frost. But our winters are pretty mild, so we can grow things here all year. This is kale. What is this? Some more lettuce? I have a ton of lettuce. <laughs> Some peas. Some leeks. This is the first year I'm growing leeks, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, 
I sold a lot of peas, and the kind of peas that I like to get is the Oregon Giant Snow Peas. I've really had good luck with those. Um, they're like a bush variety, and you get like huge pods that are edible. Oh, I do some bachelor buttons. And this pile, the one that I've sewn, those are all things that I sewed at the community garden. They're not ones that are from the house. Um, Bells of Island. I've tried this, but I've never had any luck with it. And then this is actually dill. And the seed company is Botanical Interests. Uh, that's something I haven't tried before either. Okay, then I have a lot of the seed that I saved from uh, last year. Got an issue with Caroline for sure. This is Calendula. I always say that wrong. I think you say it differently in the United States. I think I say it might say it kind of weird. Okay, more flowers. I haven't sewn any of these things because it's too early, but this is uh, called Butterfly Mondara? Mon Monada. Butterfly Monada. I've never even heard of this flower before. It's an annual, so I'm going to try that. We'll put that in the flower pile. Because that's probably none of the flower seeds are probably going to go until May. It's not warm enough. Here's another one. Um, Kiss me over the garden gate. I think I've heard of it, but I've never seen it grow. Let me turn it so you can see it a little bit better. I'll put that in the garden pile, the flower pile. Squash. Uh, I'm going to put this with the cucumbers because. Those are summer crops, so I won't be sowing those anytime too soon. And I got a sugar baby watermelon. Sometimes the watermelons grow real good here, and sometimes they don't. It just depends how hot the summer's going to be. It seems like you can never predict really what the weather is going to be like. So, what do I have left? I think I have more things that I sowed seeds. These are snapdragons from last year. I'll put that with the flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll put that with the flowers. These are beans. So I will put the beans with these things that get sowed a little bit later in the season. I got tons of carrots, more carrots, I'll put that with cha cha and stuff. Lamb's ears, I don't really know if you can grow these real good from seed, but that's another thing that doesn't need to go in right now. Um, more snapdragons, but these seeds look kind of like, like they have some kind of liquid in them. So I think we're going to throw these out. How do you like my Star Wars bags? Um, yeah, I totally forgot what these are. So I just called it a white fluffy poos. <laughs> Don't remember, the tiny little seeds. Put that with the flower pile. And then the last thing I have, again, I don't remember what these are, but I think they're broccoli. So I've got tons of seeds. I don't actually need all these seeds. So the other thing, the last thing that I found was something that I didn't grow last year. And this is from Johnny's Select Seeds. And it's something called a sepon Sepanoria. Sorry, my video turned off. Um, I have a wildflower packet. I'm not going to grow that. I'm 
microgreens. I'm not going to grow that. That's grown inside. I've got more peppers, more cucumbers. So, Caroline, I have a lot of cucumber and a lot of squash seeds. And then these are perennials that they're not going to flower this year um, and they don't get started until July so I don't have to worry about these but then there's delphinium, canterbury bells, and purple cauliflower. Okay so I think that actually is all of my seeds now. So I definitely have more seeds than I actually have space to plant. So that should be pretty interesting. And I know I, that I um, talked to Caroline and she's about, I think she said like, she might be like four or five, even up to six weeks behind. They, they still have snow there. But it's kind of interesting. What I find is that our spring like lasts forever. It's like eternal spring in Portland, Oregon. So I usually get planted with the cold weather crops, but even though I'm like months ahead of her, we usually end up at the same point because the sun is not as bright here. So when she does warm up, she warms up dramatically. And so she'll put things in the ground gonna wait till that traffic passes. Sorry it's so loud. I live right next to the highway. The community garden is also right by the highway so it's kind of annoying. And yeah so when we put things, when she does put things in the ground they grow a lot faster than things grow here. So we always end up at the same point, like her um, her vegetables will be ready at the same time mine are. It's just mine kind of like grows so slow. Um, yeah, so that's something just interesting. So I think tomorrow, if the weather's nice, I'm gonna plant this thing. Look, and there's actually some um, ladybugs. I don't know if you can see them. I've seen a lot of ladybugs, so I'm pretty excited about that. A couple years ago, I bought one of those packets with ladybugs, and they seem to all disappear. They look like little baby ones, too. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to deal with this and maybe this bed, which is an herb bed and the strawberry bed. Okay, so see you guys tomorrow.